am so tired. I am opening up and sharing my teacher burnout with you guys. Um, I think this video is going to be helpful for me, so let's see how it goes. I am going to be sharing my teacher burnout with you right now. I am asking myself, should I quit the IP kid? I am at my third contract right now, and by the end of the month, I need to decide if I should renew my contract or just completely quit VIP Kid. I need to, by the end of the month, I need to know if I should continue on with VIP Kid or if I should bid adieu and say goodbye to VIP Kid. But first and foremost, hello, I'm Serena from SincerelySerena.com. If it is the first time you are on my channel, please do not let it be the last. I love helping others discover the joy of online teaching while also giving tips, tricks, and inspiration on how you can be the best human that you can be. And if you find this video helpful, please let me know by hitting that like button. I will be ever so grateful. And if you guys hear those birds, tweet tweet, those are my daughter's pets. And I'm going to go shut her door right now. I am wearing mini hats today. I am wearing the hat of mommy, of cook, house cleaner, wife, um, educator, and everything. I am burnt out, guys. I have been working with VIP Kid for about a year. This, like I said, this is my third contract. And I have not taken a vacation yet. <laughs> we are supposed to go on vacation this summer, actually, but COVID-19 happened. I have been working straight through. I started my, like I said, I started my VIP kid teaching career last August, August 2019. Um, and if you would like to know that story, I made a video about it a couple months ago and I'll hit it right here. Um, basically, I started that, that job because I... My baby was going into kindergarten. I needed something to do. Um, it was has been awesome. I've met some wonderful Chinese students, um, as well as increased my self-esteem and being able to contribute financially to my family was awesome. Um, fast forward, <laughs> forward to February 2020, I started seriously taking my YouTube channel seriously. I wanted to help other um, people out there like me, stay-at-home moms that, um, didn't really have a whole lot of real world works experience um, go to the classroom and teach and earn an income for their families. As well as establishing myself as a champion of online teachers and it has been so fun to create stuff again. Everything was going great until March of 2020 when the world exploded. It exploded. That is when COVID-19 finally reached um, America as an epidemic, a pandemic and the world shut down and not only was I trying to um, still teach my VIP classes, still do um, creation for YouTube, um, but I was also crisis schooling my two children that were now home with me 24 hours. My dear, my dear children, I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> but I'm thankful. I'm very thankful that my oldest is a brilliant girl um, and she can basically do the online stuff by herself. But my son, my son Blake, who you've met here on my channel, um, he is on the autism spectrum. He is six years old and he does need support. He needs a lot of support from me, from my husband, from therapists. But when the pandemic hit, uh, his whole world collapsed. He was no longer getting social stimulation from school, no longer getting therapies. He needs OT and speech therapies. Um, not only was he getting that from school, but he was getting it at a private practice that I would take him twice a week. Um, he was no longer getting that either. And it is now August of 2020, and I have finally thought it was safe enough for him to go to the private OT and speech. So he has not had any therapy for like six months, which is hard. It's hard for me as a mom to see him. Um, he's doing great by the way, but I know as a mom I felt like I needed to be doing more things for him. I have also had to go through this crazy collective decision with my husband, which by the way for all of you parents out there that have to make a decision about your children's school, whether it be um, to send them to public school, to um, to opt the virtual option if you had that option or if you didn't have that option at all and um, the school district is either 
making you send your kids to school or making you stay at home. Or if you have completely decided to go rogue and pull your kids, disenroll your kids and started um, homeschooling, this has have been probably the hardest decision as a parent, if not a human being, to make. It has been super stressful. Come here, Blakey, you wanna come sit with me? You gonna sit with me? You can sit with me, that's fine. And this has been the hardest situation as a parent could ever do. Like, I have, I'm gonna be honest, I have depression and anxiety disorder and um, stressful things. I think, I'm a, I'm a thinker too, analytical. I get into my head and I think a lot. Um, and that can affect me. Lack of sleep can also affect me. And if you have anxiety um, or depression, you know what I'm talking about. It can be like bad. It can go bad and it can go bad fast. Um, there's days where I just want to sit on the couch and not do anything because I could not come in terms with my decision. So um, the, a decision has finally been made and I feel at peace with it. Um, and with that decision, it uh, has to come some changes. Has to, has to, something has to change because mama needs her sleep if I'm gonna make sure these little ones are, are good. Because at the end of the day, like these guys, my kids, are the most important thing for, to me. Before today, or before I made this decision with VIP Kid, I was working early mornings, um, six days a week. I was getting up at 3 a.m. I was gonna have my, my schedule open from 3 a.m to 7 a.m. and my schedule has been pretty booked up until like maybe the last two months um, has been booked and I've been fine and has been good for me to get up that early and financially been worth it because I was able to make 60 to 80 bucks um, every morning before my kids got up and that was fine but now I've seen a, a steadily decline in my bookings with VIP kit and I know that I am not putting the effort because I know there's effort there there's effort definitely effort for you to um, to stay continuously booked. You know, make sure that you do your feedback okay. You make sure that you are um, interacting with uh, parents on Chinese media. You are doing your certifications as well as taking workshops. Like there, there's a lot of stuff to do for you to be fully booked with the IP kit and that, all that was going on the back burner because I have been just busy. Not only am I doing my content creation, um, and trying to have a fun summer with my kids while social distancing. Um, I have also picked up OutSchool and OutSchool has been amazing and it is taking time to create my courses for OutSchool and I'm not complaining about that one bit because I love OutSchool. It's filling my cup right now. I am able to share my passions with like-minded students. It's amazing to see that there are young people out there that are into history as much as me or into Harry Potter <laughs> as much as me. Um, so I'm so happy about that. And and there's probably other conspiracy theories on why VIP Kid is, is their bookings are going down right now. Um, if you've been in Facebook groups or have perused YouTube, um, there are theories out there. I don't know if they're true or not, but one thing I do know is that um, a lot of my regular kids that I've had for nine months or more have completely disappeared from my roster. Um, I don't know if, I don't know why that is. Uh, from what I understand, if they completely disappear, um, not even interested students, but like completely disappear, they have quit VIP Kid. So um, it looks like a lot of my regulars have just quit VIP Kid, which kind of makes me sad because it didn't give me time to say goodbye. <laughs> I am a sensitive person, um, and I feel like it's a breakup. I like, I like, why didn't I get to say the goodbye to them? So I don't want to say goodbye to all of my VIP kids students at this time. So what am I gonna do? Something has to happen. Um, my kids can't go because I love my kids. Content creation can't go because I love helping teachers. Out school can't go because I am loving my students on out school, and I love that I can share my passions with like-minded people. Like it is amazing for me as a self-proclaimed history and Harry Potter nerd to know that there are other young people out there like me. Um, and there's this community that loves history and Harry Potter. It's amazing. So the last thing is VIP Kid. <laughs> oh, VIP Kid. So I am a sensitive person. Like I said, I have depression and anxiety, but I'm also sensitive. Um, I was that kid up until 7th grade that I cried at the end of every school year because I was going to miss my teacher, my poor husband. I'm, sens I'm just sensitive and I get attached to things. Um, so I, I'm not ready to say goodbye to my VIP kid 
students even though I was able, not able to say goodbye to like half of my regulars. Um, I'm not ready to say goodbye to my brilliant twins that are so easy, so fun, and so smart. Um, they are the smartest kids I have ever known through VIP Kit. I'm just not ready to say goodbye to them. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, and thank you for sticking through the end of my plan. This has been so therapeutic for me. I am going to cut my availability. I'm cutting my VIP Kit availability in half um, because I just cannot get up early in the morning every single day. Um, no more, no more. So I'm cutting my availability, I'm cutting my availability from six days to three. I'm going to work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday mornings only, and I'm going to open up the availability from four to seven a.m. Um, if I'm going to, and I'm going to do the things that I need to do to get bookings, I'm going to look at my certifications and get, try to get all the certifications that I can. I'm going to send student e-cards. I'm going to do great feedbacks. I'm going to talk to um, learning partners and talk to my parents on um, Chinese social media. So after two months, if I am not fully booked or if I am not 90% booked out of my availability, I'm going to go look back and try to reevaluate. Um, and see if it's still worth it. If it's, if, you know, finding, like, I hate to say that it comes down to the money, but my time, especially as a busy mom, um, my, my time is money. My time is, my time is a commodity, and my family deserves my time. So if I'm not getting paid well um, for my time, then maybe it's time to move on. Thank you much for sticking through. If you are on the struggle bus, the VIP kids struggle bus, um, and you're thinking about quitting or cutting back your hours, please, I would love to be your ear to try to talk you through that. Um, let me know down in the comments below, um, what are your struggles and what are you thinking about doing? And I don't know guys, I'm hoping that it works out in the end, but if it's not, that's okay. Okay guys, you guys are awesome and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. So you guys, thank you so much for sticking to